So yeah, continue on. Um, uh, making the wealthy and the big corporations pay their fair share. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Here, let's learn about the world's the most fun land for the pet water bear or, or the play uh, for um, from old to so, so poor like a uh, billionaires. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of funny that like there was there's you can actually buy like a prop that's like actually is the world's tiny list violin as well too, including with the boat you can play it on. Um, so. Uh, yeah, Lindsay, I was just thinking, it's just like, okay, just like play the world's tiniest violin. I have the world's tiniest violin. Yeah. Um, President Biden plans will cut like uh, taxes for the middle class and low income Americans and will like finance those cuts by like making the ultra wealthy and big corporations finally start uh, p paying their fair shares. There are a thousand billionaires in the Americas. In America, and they pay like an average of eight percent in taxes, a far lower rate than a firefighter or a teacher. Democrats will make billionaires pay a minimum of like tax rate of twenty five percent. I'll believe it when that happens. Uh, raising billions of dollars in ten years, and with and will end the preferential treatment of capital gains from millionaires, so that they pay the same rate on investment income as wages. I'll believe that when that happens because the Democrats also benefit from uh, like um capital gains and that sort of things and owning stocks as well too. Because there was like this just happened. This just happened. A Democrat, a Democrat Congressperson, a Democrat in the House of Representatives prevented the bill from going from leaving like committee and going onto the floor for a vote of whether or not it is okay it is okay for like um Congress people to buy and sell stocks in industries that they serve on campaign on committees that investigate said committee said industries. Um Nancy Pelosi was against that sort of thing too. Whereas, like, um, Congress people have to disclose, or senators have to disclose what stocks they buy and sell, or what stocks they own. So, the Democrats are also for the exploitation of this system. So, I'll believe it when I see it. And it's just like, so they, the Democrats also just want to be corporately greedy too. They just don't want to do it, they don't want to do it as overtly or as much as the Tucklinsons do. I'm drinking tea as I said that too. How fitting. Um, so go, continue on. We'll put an end to abusive life insurance like the tax soldiers and stop billionaires from exploiting retirement tax incentives that are supposed to help middle class families save. We'll eliminate the step up by uh, loopholes for the wealthiest Americans so they can avoid um, paying taxes on their wealth by passing it down to their heirs. Uh, the Democrats are for the ex exploitation of the system. Call me shocked. Yeah. You spell and call it correctly, according to the English. According to the people who invented the language, look, that's fair. Uh, continue on. Democrats will close the carried interest loophole, which like a uh, wealthy uh, fund uh, managers have like used uh, to uh, have like tax rates on their own personal pay. Uh, so they pay a lower rate than like some teachers or firefighters do. That's wrong. We will increase our uh, new soft buyback tax to like 4% to like discourage like stock buybacks that like benefit executives and wealthy shareholders instead of like uh, workers and consumers. Not everyone can afford to and st stocks, which is why I hate this kind of section with like stocks and stock markets and that sort of thing too. And like, that's a, yeah, it spells like it checks like a, it tells me it's like spelled color wrong. Yeah. Ignore spell check as well too. My spell check is like said I did, I spelled like a uh, narcosynclus incorrectly. No, I'm sure that like a narcosynclus is spelled that way. Uh, so I told them no, add this word to the dictionary, narcosynclus. That's how I spell it. That's the kind of anarchist I am. I'm anarchist of many adjectives as well, too, including anarcho syndicalist, anarcho communist, anarcho feminist, Aquarian anarchist, and anarchist for like uh, for LGP 2 ie plus the liberation, and for land back, and for and the center of colonialism. Anyway, continue on. Um, we will also keep uh, upping the pressure on wealthy uh, corporate uh, tax sheets uh, that like fail to pay uh, what they owe. The IRS was severely underfunded for years. Uh, but the Democrats are improving the IRS services for everyday taxpayers and revving up enforcement against a wealthy and corporate uh, tax sheet, uh, raising more than like an estimated $400 billion in like additional revenue as a result. Uh, believe it when I see it, again, the Obama raised taxes on the middle class. 
The IRS has already collected over $500 million on pay, non-paid taxes from uh, less than two, um, 2,000 delinquent millionaires Harris, and launched efforts aimed at like thousands of other millionaires who haven't filed a return in years. Democrats will protect their, this progress by continuing to invest in like monetizing and modernizing the IRS. Uh, and Republicans are working to reverse it, protecting wealthy tax sheets and increasing the deficit instead. Now, I think both like play sides to this. Part of the reason why the tax code is so complicated in like the USA as it is, because like so many different like laws get passed every single year that like complicates the like uh, tax code as well too. So even members of the IRS, I'm not too sure about like hey, what is tax and what is not, and how to like file for taxes and how to declare like this as a business expense or not, and so on and so forth. Um, and again, uh, how the law sort of protect like the um corporations of like Turbo Tax and HR and Block from like continuing existing by preventing the IRS from like doing filing their taxes for us. Um. Uh, so because the uh, total tax and HR and blocks must continue to exist, we cannot uh, have the IRS just file our taxes for us. We have to like do it ourselves. Continuing on, Democrats will like also make billions of dollars, uh, billion, billion dollar companies that pay their fair share. In 2020, um, the 55 of the biggest co companies in America paid 40 million in pro made 40 million profit, but zero in federal income tax. What was the numbers like in 21, 21, 22, and 23? Getting on. Uh, corporations are seeing record uh, uh, margins, uh, but their shares of federal in, uh, tax has like fallen uh, below 10% and down uh, from 30% in the 1950s. It's wrong. Trump doesn't care. He slaps the corporate tax rate to 21% and down for 35%. Uh, President Biden will raise that rate back to 28%. Oh, hold up, right here, right here. They said it right in us. So it was like, down from 35% to 21%, but Biden's only going to raise it back to like 28%. So even Biden wasn't going to or didn't raise it back to the original rate it was. It raised up the rate. It's the 28 is more than 21 percent, but 28 is less than 35. Don't the Democrats know how to do math? I was told there's not going to be any math. I uh, continue on. And those like a billion dollar tax dodgers, the president signed a historic 15% corporate tax min minimum tax into law. And they said not that they haven't had it until like now, I guess. Can you know? He also like reached a global tax minimum agreement with 140 countries so that like big multinational like corporate companies will no longer be able to like a pit nations against one another in a race to the bottom. And and Biden will double the tax rate that Amer uh, that Americans uh, multinationals uh, pay on foreign earn earnings to 21 percent and end incentives introduced by like Trump that encourage companies to shift jobs and operations overseas and like book profits in low income countries. I mean, have you seen the educational system in America, Geek? You're right. We're bad at math because of the American educational system. It's just mentioned in here in this, like, party platform. It's one of the other chapters. I won't get to it today because, like, yeah, it's already 6 o'clock. Um, Democrats oppose unfair, like, loopholes and wasteful of subsidiaries that, like, uh, benefit special interests at, like, everyone else's expense. Um... We will fight to get rid of them. That starts by like eliminating tens of billions of dollars in like uh, subsidies for oil and gas companies. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean. So maybe the Democrats would be better on education than the Republicans, but that's a low bar, honestly, because of how the Republicans like treat education as well, too. Uh, there's so many issues with the public education system as it is too, especially since like schools are still financed by property taxes. So basically, it's the uh, if you are in the uh, richer area with richer property taxes as well too, you get richer schools and you get better uh, schools and better like um, finance schools and something like that. So poor neighborhoods are going to have poor schools and like yeah, uh, and usually poor neighborhoods and poor schools are usually black and brown neighborhoods and black and brown schools. Look at that. Look at that. 
Anyway, continue on. It means ending special tax breaks for corporate jets, uh, boosting fuel uh, uh, taxes on the corporations and then private jets like travel, saving the taxpayers for four billion over ten years. And will no longer permit companies to deduct the cost of paying executives for more than one million a year. Corporations should like get a tax break for giving a huge paychecks. Uh, corporations shouldn't get a tax break for giving a huge pay packages to CEOs. But they're job creators. No, yeah, Lucidia, that is how schools are financed. Public schools are financed in the USA. Property taxes. Property taxes is the primary way of how like uh, schools are financed in the USA. From what, I, from what I remember. So, and that is how it happened. How it's like, if this is a rich neighborhood that has high property like uh, values, and it thus has high property taxes as well too. Assuming that they pay for it as well too, and some people do pay for it as well too, and don't avoid it. Um, then their schools of like a lot bigger budgets than other places and to uh, so that like so basically in order to get best schooling from the public school system you either go private as a lot of many rich people do anyway and you can sometimes get like vouchers for private schooling as or too and there's like a whole debate on that as well too and so that's like you can have the government pay for your you send your kids to private schools and like having the private schools still like receive benefits or like a funny money from the state as well too uh, i have to like look at further into that as well too i remember so talking point 10 years ago or a decade ago when i was just in high school but no, but it got me wondering how the schools in my province and countries were funded. Yeah, that's a good question as well too, because I'm not sure how it is in Canada. I just know from the and that's that is how poor schools are poor in such a way because the neighborhoods are poor, the property values are poor. Uh, looks like it's either like a similar same as the USA. Sorry, you learn from us. <laughs> uh, maybe we're learning from the British as well too. So another thing we can blame the UK on as well too. Anyway, I we just followed the example of the worst people, essentially. Uh, but the CEOs are job creators. Yeah, that's that's the fantasy that the people tells people. Anyway, uh, continue on. We also eliminate the so-called like like kind exchange loophole that allowed for wealthy real estate investors to avoid paying taxes on real estate profits, alongside they keep investing in real estate. A uh, tax break that like Trump uh, protected for himself and other corporate landlords in his uh, 2017 like, tax scheme. No industry has the kind of sweetheart deal it ends now. Up, oh, and that's the finish of the chapter. Oh, so.